All right, so what we need to do now is work on uh, showing the actual value that should be selected instead of just hard coding it to Spanish right there. So in home screen.js, I'll scroll back up, and what I'm gonna do is create a state variable. In fact, I can duplicate those lines and create one for language two, and then I'll have set language two, and then that will default to, or the, rather the initial value uh, will be fr for French, but feel free to change this to whatever you want. This will be the, uh, the language which is set um, initially on this part here. Uh, and then what I'll do is copy that and paste it on the line below and then change this to language from and then that'll be set language from and then that'll just be uh, EN for English. Okay, cool. So I've defaulted this one to French and this one to English. Um, and then what we'll do is scroll down and where we're navigating here, I will pass in these values. So where we've got title, I'll add a second property. This will be selected uh, equals I'll just set this to um, language, oops, language from, and I'll do the same on the line below for this one here. This will be language two. So now we'll know which language should be selected based on what we've passed in. So all we need to do is go to our language select screen and scroll up, and we can extract that from this here, this uh, params object by saying uh, selected and then we can take that value and just use it here in place of ES, like that. And that should be good. So, if I press that now, English should be selected here. Let me scroll down. English is selected there, and on this one, French should be selected. Let me scroll down, and there we go. French is selected. All right, so let's work on making uh, this, pressing one of these actually do something. So, if I scroll down to, uh, in fact, if I go to the language select screen and scroll down to here. We want to pass in some on press uh, property. So um, we can say on press is going to be, and it'll be a function, but let's scroll up to here and create that function. So I'll say const um, on language select equals, and it'll take an item key as a parameter to the function and just set it to an arrow function. And then what I'll do is I'll copy this function name. I'll go down to the on press and let's call that function. So uh, use an arrow function and I'll just set it like this. And we're going to pass in the uh, language key like that. Cool. So we've passed in the language key to this function. But because we're passing this function in, we're going to wrap it in a use callback. So use callback and make sure that's imported from uh, React right there. Use callback, which obviously creates a memorized version of this function. And then uh, I will wrap that like that. And the dependency, um, we'll do the dependency list in a second, but for now, let me just set it to an empty um, empty array. Like I said, we'll come back and add that in just a second. So we'll say const um, date, oops, const data key equals, and then we're gonna check if we've been passed in, what, whether it's a to or from. Because when we, when we click this, we need to know whether we're going to set the language to or whether we're setting the language from. Because we're using the same screen for both. So we need to know whether we're currently on the translate to screen or the translate from. So we'll check for the root, uh, we'll check for the, um, the mode parameter that we'll pass in. So we can say params.mode uh, equals 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 and then just to like that. And if it is, we'll say uh, language to. And if it's not, then we'll say language from. Okay, so we'll, we will pass this in. We're not doing it yet, of course, but we'll pass this mode in. It'll either be to or it'll be from. And all we're going to do is underneath that, um, we'll say navigation dot navigate, uh, and we'll just navigate to the um, home screen. Is that what I called it? So this home screen, if I go back to app.js, just to check what it was called, uh, it was called. Uh, uh, it's not main, it's the it's in the tab navigator. Let me just check real quick. Uh, okay, so it's home with an uppercase H. So make sure you call it home with an uppercase H. So where are we? Uh, here, so instead of home with a lowercase H like that, I'm gonna change it to that. So that should navigate to our home screen, but because the home screen has already been presented on the stack navigator, it will just essentially pop the uh, modal away. So it'll kind of just remove the uh, modal and show the current one. Okay, and we want to pass in um, a, a property here, an object. So um, we want to pass in whether it's a language to or language from, um, and we can do that using this data key by wrapping it in um, in square brackets. 
So if we just set to item key, which is the value that's passed in, um, essentially what we're doing, uh, this means that this object will contain either uh, something like this, language, oops, language to equals whatever this key is, or it will contain language from. And then we can use that on the home screen and know whether they, um, based on whether that value is set, what to do with this. So we know whether to update the language from or the language to. So the reason we need to wrap it in uh, square brackets is because if we didn't wrap it in square brackets and we just had that, it would actually set data key as the key. So in order to use the value of that data key variable, we need to wrap it in square brackets like that. Cool, and that is all we need to do. Uh, but we'll go and add these dependency lists now. So because we're using the params object, uh, we will wrap that there. And then we'll also set, uh, set it based on the navigation as well. So just set those two as the dependency list. So if any of those change, it will uh, re-render this function. All right, cool. If we, didn't do, if we didn't do that, by the way, it means that any time this, uh, this language screen renders, it would re-render every single language item on there. So uh, we don't really want that. So if I save that and go back to here, if I press one of these now, nothing's happened. Why is that? Oh, because I haven't hooked it up yet. I've passed it in. Um, the language item's been passed in. Sorry, the arm press has been passed in in the language item. But in the language item, we're not using it. So we have, we just need to hook that up to this touchable opacity element. So I'll move the style onto the line below. And then here I'll say on press equals props dot on press. Oops, on press, like that. Now if I press one of these, uh, it will collapse it. You see, it's not doing anything with it now yet, of course. It's not using the values, but it is collapsing the uh, modal. So in order to actually use those values, it's really, really simple. It's just a couple of if statements and literally two if statements. Um, so in the uh, in the home screen, I'll just create a quick use effect block uh, and set an arrow function in there. And we do want to extract the um, parameters that we get from this. And we'll do it in the exact same way we did from language select screen. So you see how we have, we have this const params equals root params or an empty object. So let's copy that or write it out again, it's up to you. And I'll just paste that right at the top there. Uh, so now we can use the parameters that passed into this view. And we'll just say if uh, params dot language to, so if there's a language to uh, parameter, because remember, that's what we are passing in um, here, we're setting either language to or language from as the key. So if we have a language to, we want to say set language to, and then we'll set it to, uh, params dot language to and then what I'll do is copy that and paste it below and this will be language from so from and I'll also update this to language from there and oh yeah this needs to be language from too we're setting the language from don't forget to change that all right um, so because we're using params dot language to and params dot language from what I'm going to do is just add these to the dependency list for this use effect like that and we should be good to go now. Um, cool. Uh, oh, we've got, what have we got? Can't find variable root. Oh, it needs to come from there. Props.root. Okay, so add the props there. It's because on the language select screen, I extracted these values like that, um, but I didn't do that here, so I need to add the props, but it's, it's okay. Uh, cool, so we're currently setting um, this value, but we're not outputting it. At the moment, these English and French strings are just hard-coded, you see right here. So all we need to do is output those. Uh, so I'll get rid of the English there and put supported languages. And in square brackets, I'm going to say um, language, oops, language from, and then close the square brackets and then close the curly brace as well. So make sure you've got that right. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Language from. And I'll copy all of that and I'll paste it in there. Instead of French, I'm going to paste that and change language from to language to. Now, obviously, these are very similar uh, elements, the whole thing. So there is a way, I'm sure, <laughs> to refactor this pretty easily. But uh, for me, I'll just leave it like this. This will do. So let's go ahead and change one of these. I'll go to English and I'll change it to uh, Azerbaijani. And you see it changes there. I can change French to Bengali. And it doesn't update. Why is that? Uh, why didn't that update? Oh, it's because I haven't made use of this mode one yet. So the language from worked because it if this wasn't set, which is not, it just falls back to language from. Um, but yeah, we didn't make use of this mode variable. So that's very simple. Just go back to here and where we navigate. So on the uh, in the on press and the props on navigation, we'll just pass a separate uh, mode 
value and set this to, in this case, it'll be from, and then we'll do the same underneath. This will be uh, two, so mode, and then set that to two. All right, sorry, now it'll work. So if I change French to Arabic, it works. And if I change Bengali to Afrikaans, it works too. So cool, we've got um, our settable languages now. We can now change this as we like, so Basque. Um, we can scroll the list and ch change it to something else if you want to. So these are all the languages we can translate to and from.